Hi. Well, today we're going to talk about a vicious predator. It really is. It preys on your leeks and potentially your onions. It's called the leek moth. It's a relatively small moth, mottled brown in colour. It's about 12 millimetres across, not very big, but it can decimate your onions and your leeks. Now this year, on our allotments, it has really gone to town on the leeks. I'll show, I'll show you that in a minute. But, there is hope. There's prevention and there's cure. So, let's go down to the plot and have a look around and see what, what, see what we can see. This, we've put to bed now for the year. Uh, it was our leek bed on Karen's plot. It was decimated by leek moth. We've got two leeks left on here. So what happened? Well, the leek moth got into them. They went, they went brown, started to fall over, and we noticed it a bit too late on this plot. So let's talk about leek moth. What can we do with it? From, from what I've been told, Prevention, you can put flying insect powder around your leeks and that will prevent it. But if we go over to the other plot, we'll right, we're over on coming over to our plot now. And just as a general thing, everybody on here has had problems with with leek moth. Lots of people have had the leeks decimated. Now if you've got leek moth if you catch it early enough, what you can do, and I was told this last year, is you can cut your leeks down and they'll regrow. Now this seems a bit iffy, but let's go and have a look at mine now, where I cut them down about two weeks ago, down to, down to ground level. And here we are now, look at them, they're coming back up, they're, uh, they're healthy. So, we saved our leeks, uh, and that's a good tip. They, they seem to be coming up quite fast. They're about three, four inches tall now, and I cut. As you can see, if you look at them closely, you can see I cut them down right above the ground, got rid of all the stuff with the leeks in, with the leek moth in, and hopefully we'll still have a crop. Uh, other than that. That was the main thing I wanted to talk about on this video. We'll go and have a little look round just to, to fill in a bit of time. Show you some of our strawberry runners, which we, we're getting ready for next year. Uh, have a quick look round, hopefully there'll be no... Ooh, something's trying to go to seed there, I'm going to have to get rid of that. I think that's broccoli going to seed, to sort that out. And we walk up here and see, see what we've got. We've got... A swimming pool and our bee beetroot on this site. We've got quite a lot of beetroot. Oh, yes, see the drainage on there. We've got a butternut, which looks like it's ready, and a couple of courgettes in there. And finally, absolutely finally, this is I've been waiting all year for this. <laughs> We're finally getting some uh, cucumber melons on here. Now they, I, I, they seem to have been dropping off all year and I don't know what's been happening to them unless something's been stealing them but now I've actually got a few cucumelons to try and I was going to try pickling them uh, this bed is being raised to try and get it over the water the other the bed with the beetroot in is being raised and I've got a third bed there which I'm going to have to raise so I hope the tip helps you because it certainly helped us. Remember, prevention's better than cure, but if you get, if you leak moths get to you, you can cure it. Well, we're back on on Karen's plot for the other things. Just enough to make the video long enough and interesting enough. Just come on and look what we find. The sunflowers. Something has been decimating the sunflowers. And you can see there, 
they've been really going to town on this one getting, getting at the seeds so I don't know whether that's the birds or even potentially the squirrels around here because we've got quite a lot of squirrels in this area we've still got lots and lots of pears on there now you're going to find out about what we're doing with the pears in a bit that's another video it's probably several videos because it takes some time uh, and some of our russet apples they're, they've done very well and even come round here this is look at this this grapevine and I didn't think the grapes would would ripen but I've got some nice clumps of grapes which they're a little sharp but to be honest I like them that way so I've got some lovely green grapes growing outdoors in the north of England and I think that's good and we're going to train this grape right round here make a little seating area we can sit with the grapes around us and over us so I can reach up and pull a grape off and eat it so uh, that's where we're up to now